Hello and welcome to Learn Hmong the J-Way. Well, in this video, it's about SQL, SQL Server, Database, WinSQL, okay, all of the above. So let's begin. I assume you already know something about Database and SQL or SQL Server, okay? So let's just say that I have a table called Work Order in my database called Production. Let's take a look at what I have. Well, I have a lot of records. And in my table, I have a column called order quantity, stock quantity, as well as the date, start date. Start date is being captured for each row or record. And what I want to do is do a summary for each year, a total count that is for quantity order and stock quantity, right? Like what you see here. Over here are the detailed records that shows you first one is 8 and 15 and so on and so forth. Okay? And we cannot possibly be counting 7 the 5,000 or 100,000 rows like this. So we're going to use a SQL and um, the sum to help us out. So let's take a look at how many records we have in our database. Well, we know that the total records is 72,000, right? Roughly. And then we do a unique by year. So how many years do we have that are unique in our database? four years as you can see over here now what we want to do is produce a result that are looking like this okay each year it should give us a total count of all the order quantity and stock quantity so look get the SQL statement we're gonna run this SQL which I already created and it will produce something like this. The year is not in any particular order, meaning I did not order it by. If I wanted to order by, I can just say order my result by first column, or the first one column here, okay? If I do that, as you can see, it's sorted by smallest to largest, okay? So, what I'm trying to uh, show you is that this result give me what I wanted but it doesn't give me the grand total either like this this will give me a grand total of all the years and this will give me a total for each year so what we want to do is combine these two into one using the union command so let's see running the two as one command will give you what you want right 2011 has this information 12 has this information 13 14 and the grand total down here let's review this one thing to keep in mind is that this is a date field okay and when I display I change this to a character field called total and without casting or changing or converting this date field from a year function as character field it will not work meaning that the top SQL will be dealing with number like year 2011 and when it combined with this it will fail okay it has to be character character or numbers and numbers so what I'm trying to tell you is you have to cast or convert it so that the two fields will be compatible okay otherwise everything will look really pretty like this most of the time people know how to do this okay or they only remember how to do this and then they'll put into Excel or some sort of file and then do summation or run through some sort of second step calculation to get the total okay but what I'm trying to show you is that you can do that by just running this little trick and it gives you total 
in that case you're running the tool you'll get exactly the detailed summary for each year and the total or grand total for all the years i hope this helps you leave me comments if you have any thank you